In some earlier videos, I gave a tour of my smart home and gave a full walkthrough of my smart home control panel and dashboard. Several of you asked how I get the video doorbell live preview on my TV and on my tablet. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you follow these steps, you'll automatically get a notification on your Apple TV and Android tablet showing you who is at the front door without having to move a muscle. On this channel, I cover how tech can make you more productive. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. There's more than one way to achieve this depending on the devices you own and the smart home platform that you are using. I'll show you how I'm doing it and it's easier than you might think. Let's start off with how to get this set up on a TV. You'll need three things to replicate my setup an Apple TV, an iPhone, and Home Assistant. These steps assume you already have your video doorbell added to Home Assistant. To start, you need to expose your video doorbell and Home Assistant to Apple HomeKit. We can do this by using an amazing integration in Home Assistant called HomeKit Bridge, which I've talked about before on this channel. To add HomeKit Bridge, open Home Assistant, go to Devices and Services, Add Integration, search Apple and click to see HomeKit Bridge and then select it. You may need to then restart Home Assistant. Once restarted, the Home Assistant front end should display cards with a QR code and a pin code. You may find them in the notifications panel in the lower left. These QR or pin codes will be used to add the devices to Apple Home. Open the Apple Home app on your iPhone, click Add Accessory, scan the QR code or select don't have a code or can't scan, and choose Home Assistant Bridge. Confirm that you are adding an uncertified accessory by clicking Add Anyway. Enter the PIN code or skip this if you scan the QR code earlier. Complete the on-device setup instructions, and the Home Assistant accessory should now be listed in the Apple Home app, allowing you to control them through Apple Home and your voice assistant. Make sure your Apple Home app and Apple TV are logged in using the same Apple ID. Now, go on your Apple TV, select the home icon, and confirm that you are able to view any cameras that you just added. At this point, it should work like magic. When someone rings the video doorbell added to the Apple Home app, you'll get a pop-up while using Apple TV showing who is at the front door. Now, let's look at how to get similar functionality on a tablet. You'll need a couple things to replicate my setup here an Android tablet running fully kiosk browser, and Home Assistant. To get started, download and install Fully Kiosk Browser from your tablet's app store. Fully Kiosk Browser is free, however, the fully remote admin feature requires the paid license, which is a one-time cost of under $10. You can use the feature without paying, but it will display a watermark on your tablet. Once installed on your tablet, Open the Fully Kiosk Browser app and swipe right to expose the admin menu. Click Settings, Web Content Settings, Start URL, and enter the URL that you use to access your Home Assistant. Go back and click Remote Administration and toggle on Enable Remote Administration and Remote Admin from Local Network. You'll also need to set a Remote Admin password. There are a ton of other configuration settings that you can play around with. Now, it's time to add the Fully Kiosk Browser integration to Home Assistant. Open Home Assistant and go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and search Fully Kiosk Browser and select it. Enter the IP address of your tablet running Fully Kiosk Browser and the remote admin password you just created for Fully Kiosk Browser on the tablet. At this point, Fully Kiosk Browser is set up on your tablet and within Home Assistant. Now, it's time to create an automation that displays a video doorbell preview on the tablet when someone rings a doorbell. In Home Assistant, go to Settings, Automations and Scenes, Create Automation and Create New Automation. Under When, the trigger is when someone rings a doorbell. Under Then Do, you need to add a few actions. First, you need an action to call the switch turn on service 
to turn on the tablet's screen. Second, you need an action to call a service to load the URL of your video doorbell's camera image. If you don't already have an automation that captures your video doorbell's camera image, you can add that here as well. Just call a service to take a snapshot of the video doorbell. Third, after loading the URL of the video doorbell image, you can add a step to wait 30 seconds, which is how long to display the video doorbell image on the tablet. Finally, you need an action to call a service to load the start URL on the tablet, which just resets everything back to showing the main dashboard. When you have the automation set up, click Save. At this point, when someone rings the video doorbell, you'll get a full screen image on the tablet showing who is at the front door. This is great if you wall mount your tablet and use it as a control panel for your smart home like I do. My family really enjoys having an image appear automatically on both the TV and tablet when someone rings the doorbell. It can be faster than whipping out your phone, but it's great when your phone isn't on you and for household members who don't have a phone. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional tips for viewing a video doorbell on a TV or tablet. If you're interested in other automation ideas for your door, you'll wanna check out the video here. Hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. I think I'll ignore that.